It's the morning of Visak Day and the fishermen are out in full force already. But today, we're going to see if we can spot people releasing fishes and other animals into the reservoir. And for that, I have with me and Parks volunteer LaShawn. So LaShawn, how are you doing today, this morning? Fine. <laughs> I'm so, okay. What are you going to do when you see people releasing animals into the reservoir? Well, I guess uh, I have to go up to them and um, tell them not to do that. Then after that, if they are willing to listen now, just continue in the uh, why part. Yeah. Have you done this before? Oh uh, like yeah. last year? A few times, actually. A few times. And yeah. did you manage to spot anybody? Actually, not really. Yeah, not really. Right, it's hard. Huh? So what, okay, what if you spot someone but he gets aggressive or he's not too friendly towards you? Uh, I guess um, then you, you just have to like, um, no, once he just stops, then you just have to go, you know, never know what happened. Right. Okay, yeah. okay. I see you're all sweating already, so <laughs> the Sean is ready and I'm ready with my disguise and my cap, so we're going to follow you closely behind and let's see today if we can find anybody, yeah? All right. Despite LeSean's enthusiasm in spreading the message, we didn't manage to spot anyone releasing animals. But how do Singaporeans generally feel about the release of animals into the wild? Uh, there's good stuff and bad stuff about it. Good because they're the tradition and culture, they're doing well for it. But on the other hand, you're actually buying all these terrapins and then letting it go, but they'll die in the end. Yeah. Uh, for me, I feel that it's like quite cruel to the animals because they are already used to like your human feeding them, so it's like quite difficult for them to find their own food. Yeah. Uh, in today's practice, I look at it, uh, it's meaningless to buy animals and then set them free. Somebody else will catch them back and then sell it to the next guy again. And those captive animals may not survive in the wild open. I have no like anything against them. I just feel like. It's just normal. Lah. It's visa day, it's releasing just now. Do you know the impact that releasing animals has yeah, on the... I heard about it, about like releasing like alien species into for, uh, local water. Yeah, I heard about it, but I don't think it, like, it doesn't affect much. Lah. So you don't think it affects much? So, but do you know that um, releasing animals in the wild, like 90% of the animals that are released uh, die in the end? and um, it may endanger certain species uh, in the native environment. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, no. no would you still do it, now that you know this? Yeah. Why, why would you still do it? Because uh, being a devout, I'm a Buddhist, so yeah, so I'll still do it. Lah. The act of releasing the animal uh, is just an act of giving the animal a sense of freedom. Lah. And uh, also to also involve taking care of the animal, you know, releasing to a proper environment. You know. Yeah, I, I think I think uh, that is the act of a uh, is a symbolic thing, you know, right? Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that daily life you should do it as as often as possible if you have the opportunity to serve and to help others, living things or human beings. Uh, not to wait for certain occasion to practice it. Well, this may look like a great home for your terrapins fishes or frogs, just keep in mind that it's the home to many other native animals here first. And just as how you won't like an intruder into your house, these creatures might not welcome an unexpected guest.